Hey, this is Randy Velker with Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, today we're going to be looking a little bit at, a little bit more at security when you're out there surfing on the internet. Um, sometimes you'll wonder whether or not you should be putting your social security number um, onto a website, and and I would um, say absolutely not. Your social security number is not something that almost any website that you ever come to is ever going to be concerned with. Um, now, if you're uh, applying for life insurance or excuse me or health insurance or something like that where they they need to even then would be kind of questionable you know um, I'm just thinking back it, it's been years since I've put my social security number in on any websites anywhere so I would be very wary of doing it. if I was gonna do that it would absolutely have to be on a, on a secure site HTTPS and uh, um, it's just not a common practice to be putting your social security number so so don't do it um, as a general rule um, the next thing you need to be concerned about is what is called uh, phishing um, p-h-i-s-h a fish and, and what that is it's a fraudulent email that gets sent out to people <clears throat> and this is how it worked in, I think a, like November 17th in 2003 um, some people sent out this fraudulent email they were fishers um, and they sent it out to hundreds of thousands of people and it looked just like an email from eBay it had the actual um, graphics from eBay it had the wording from eBay it had links that looked like they were going to eBay um, it had, and it's basically said uh, you know there's been some problem with your site you need to with our site you need to reconfirm your information you need to re-sign in right here put in your uh, username, put in your password, um, and uh, once they got your username and your password, they can go in and get your information from eBay, all your credit card information, that kind of thing. So um, you have to be really, really careful on any emails that get sent to you. Right? Normally, a, a legitimate website uh, standard practice is never to uh, ask for any information over email, they're always going to they're always going to say go to our site and under your account change some information. And they're never going to ask you right there in the email to fill in your personal information, your username, your password, your credit card number, um, social security number, anything like that. It's called phishing. That's where people send a fraudulent email. Now with Gmail, um, they are really up to speed on all the latest scams that are going on, and they will. Um, suck all of those emails out so that most of them will never even get to your inbox but if they do get to your inbox just understand that legitimate websites almost never I mean never ask for personal information or secure information in an email all right, they're always going to say come to our website and after you log in change some of your information or some of your details um, <clears throat> but some of the emails that are sent out can be very tricky uh, can be very convincing they look just like the websites uh, so uh, be careful with those. It's called phishing. Uh, <clears throat> now we had talked about spam before and again Gmail basically takes care of spam for you. Uh, the other thing you need to remember is after you've marked a few emails spam, uh, Gmail's always from then on gonna, gonna take those types of emails and put them in the spam folder. You won't, you won't get those anymore after that. Uh, <clears throat> let's, go, let's go in and I'll show you a couple more search tips. All right? Let's pop in here. I'm looking at uh, <clears throat> uh, the command line here in Google Chrome. Uh, when I search, what I want to do is I want to put um, as much information as I can in the command line up here that I want to search for. I want to give Google as much direction as possible about what I'm looking for. If I want to buy a new camera, I don't just type in the word camera that's so general. Uh, that Google doesn't know how to give you a good uh, response. If I'm interested in a camera, I need to know a little bit more about that camera and, and you know type in the exact type of camera that I want. I want a 35 millimeter uh, digital camera. Right? And then I'll hit, and now Google's going to be able to go out and find something relevant, and I'm going to get back uh, a response that is more along the lines of what I'm interested in. So the more words that I can put in my search, the more precise 
Google is going to be able to be and give, you back, give me back exactly what it is that I'm looking for. If I'm real general, uh, say, um, Google's still going to do a pretty good job trying to give you what they think you're interested in, trying to give you back a general uh, search response. But if you're looking for specific information, type two, three, four, or five words up in the command line, and then Google will go find a website that has all of those five and make sense and bring it back to you uh, to respond to you. Um, so what Google's trying to do is just make it as easy as possible for you. So you need to give it, the more information you give it, the better search results you're going to be getting. Um, <clears throat> Alright, that's it for this time. Uh, we'll see you next time when we talk a little bit about internet theory and we'll wrap a lot of this stuff up together uh, and get you guys surfing.